Lipstick on a pig. No, no, that's the wrong analogy. Okay, okay. 2023 Toyota Corolla Apex 6MT. This is a black Labrador retriever you painted spots on and called it a leopard. You took pictures of it and put it on Instagram, and all your responses are full of mommies who responded positively, but first they had to say either one, how old they are, and two, what church they belong to. And I can hear them. I can hear them. I can hear their ham fat all over their e-machines keyboard with the built-in volume control knob. My day is brightened by this video. My son has detention today, and I gotta go pick him up from St. Jude's. But your video made me believe there is hope for America. And then she shoves an empty bottle of absolute grapefruit into her vajonga bonga honga longa bonga. Today's episode of Regular Car Reviews is sponsored once again by Factor. Give me a knife. Factor meals are fresh, never frozen. I'm hungry. You ever see what comes in these boxes? They come insulated with freeze packs um, that can go here for now. Did I just break something? No. Okay, we're good. That way when you get them, they're fresh. What are we doing? Black pepper, sage, pork chop. I told him just give, give me just whatever. And I'm um, got creamy bacon, ranch, shredded chicken. Okay. I, I like all of these. Roasted tomato in a word I can't pronounce. Yes, let's do this. The box says two minutes, but I always do three. Click the link in the description and use code REGULAR50 to get 50% off your first factor box. That is promo code REGULAR50. Promo code REGULAR50. Promo code REGULAR50. These are the smoothies. Can I do it with my finger? Indeed I can. Oh, no, I need the knife again. One hand. I'm gonna need the knife again. Don't cut the smoothie bottles and get it out with the thing. Yes. What do we got? Strawberry banana. Sold. I eat these things on road trips. They are fantastic. You're gonna be in a food desert when you get to a truck stop somewhere. Have a meal that's good for you. Damn it. I'm not acting. These are honestly really tasty. I put it on a plate because I'm a human being and I'm at home, but I'm still gonna eat it with a metal Fork. Yum, 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 editing. Oh yeah, that's good. You know, I'm not lying, these things are tasty as heck. Honestly, this might be my new favorite one. Mmm. Um, they're good, man, they're good. So, use code REGULAR50 to get 50% off your first factor box. That's regular code 50 to get 50% off your first factor box. Links in the description, thanks. The Toyota Corolla Apex is more of a waste of money than lactate milk. I still fart all day and brown hurricane the sliding hill rest stop on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. This is a commuter car cosplaying as its legitimate grandfather, the A86. This is a surveyor from Lansford dressing up as a staff sergeant at World War II weekend at the Reading Airport because his grandfather sorted mail behind the wire long after France was liberated. There is no performance difference between the Apex Corolla and the base model. Same six-speed manual transmission, same 169 horsepower engine. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Here we go. Oh, spawn it. <laughs>
to red light. I like that. I, I like that shift knob. That takes a lot of the flop out. Okay, so yes, it is. It is. I like it, but I. The GR Corolla would walk this. Oh, absolutely. This but, is this is a, but this is still a. But this is still a. Uh, a four-door sedan yep. that's as large as the old Camry used to be. And I like that weighted shift knob. It reminds me of what Burnash used to do with Prime. That's all you had to do to fix the notchy shifting of MR2 is to just put weight on it and then the shifter stays in place. So what do you get? The Apex Edition gets you a body kit that disqualifies you from track use. So how did it do that? Well, on every single car sold in the United States, you have a little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle manhole cover you pop off to dangle your toe loop up and down the main line to perpetrate like you just got off from a track day. Well, this TRD body kit that comes with the Apex Edition doesn't have a pop-out panel for a toe loop. So this track-focused Corolla with its sport-tuned suspension does not meet the minimum safety requirements to drive on a racetrack. And then there's the turd exhaust that sounds like a street sweeper sucking up acorns. Love. We all want love. We want to feel special. We want that long-gone fatherly attaboy when we catch a ball or rake the leaves or wipe yourself properly for the first time. The Corolla Apex offers that exclusivity and special feeling because Toyota only made a few hundred of these and even less were manuals. You're special now. Roll up to a car meet, and everyone with meticulously chosen t-shirts and shoes, projecting a careful aura of don't give a f will grab their crotches and point at you, the chosen one, in your apex. You're desirable. You have something no one else has. The owner told me that shortly after taking ownership of the apex, the dealer called, asking to buy it back in the form of giving him a Lexus plus $1,000. What was that about? Well, odds are the ad for the Apex Corolla was still up on the dealer's website, and some moneyed up person offered way above asking price to get the Corolla Apex, and uh, the dealer saw an opportunity to double dip. As a car, this is just a Corolla. There's no sensation between normal cam profile and performance. Yes, it has twin injection, both, both port fuel and uh, direct fuel injection, but you can't feel the difference. You're not meant to. They blend together. And besides, they both give the same amount of fuel. And honestly, it you, you get less, it's, it's leaner when it's on direct fuel injection, but that's, that's an emissions thing and an economy that you can't. And the TRD exhaust does nothing but make the car louder because the ECU mapping is the same as the base Corolla. And the suspension, okay. It does have better, I'm making air quotes here, suspension than the base. So you can take it to a track, which you aren't allowed on, and there it would make a difference, allowing the car to track flatter. But that would only work on a flat track with zero imperfections, like an autocross circuit, a level, freshly paved parking lot. And besides, an ND Miata will run circles around a Corolla Apex Edition in all situations. Okay, the sticker. 
Millennial Anti-Theft Device. <coughs> this sticker would have made sense in 2011, but it's 2023. Millennials are in their mid-30s now. So you're making fun of middle-aged people? Look, you can't bat a thousand forever. It was bound to happen sooner or later, and now the Toyota fanboy chickens are coming home to roost and claw the eyes out of all the told-you-so Susans in the comments who said, What do you even like Toyota for? Subaru and Honda do American JDM better. I wish I could say I like this car. I love Toyota. And the answer to every single what sort of car should I buy is always the Toyota Corolla. And I will continue to say that. But what we have here is a Corolla that begs the question, why am I trying so hard to impress my wife's boyfriend? The Toyota Corolla Apex is one big game of corrupt a wish. Attract a Corolla? Nice. Governed at 115 miles an hour? Boo! Manual transmission instead of a sluggish, boring CVT? Nice. Aw, oh, the, the, it only comes with the SE package? Boo. Toyota Corolla Apex. When she's a 10, but she doesn't wipe her ass. Toyota Corolla Apex. When she's a 10, but she puts ketchup on rice. Toyota Corolla Apex. When she's a 10, but she needs to set five alarms to wake up in the morning at 9. On one hand, the SE is probably the nicer package when put up against the XSE, which doesn't even have a manual at all, but this has all the cosmetic refinement of a WRX that some teenager styled. It looks like a car for people who have a lot of money but still owe money, because this can only appeal to Toyota loyalists, which I am, but even then, only as a novelty that suggests the possibility of a better car. Because what you get at the cost of close to $30,000 for everything you see here is the 2-liter M20A FKS dynamic force engine making 169 horsepower and only 151 foot-pounds of torque. The factory fuel economy is right down the line. A normal 31 miles per gallon city and 38 miles per gallon highway. John gets about 34 miles per gallon here, and I'm sure if I short shifted this like crazy, I could get this thing to touch 40, no problem. One thing I forgot to mention, uh, the Apex package lowers the car more than a half an inch to improve the center of gravity, or so the press release will tell you. And to be fair, you do get a better setup, than your bog-standard Corolla with thicker reinforced sway bars, factory coilover suspension, so you feel every tar snake that PennDOT didn't feel like doing anything about, but you're going to feel like you're on rails. I, no, I couldn't even say that. This thing doesn't track like rails. It understeers like a goddamn swine, just like every other Corolla, because this is not a race car. This is, it's a Corolla with a manual with a body kit. Mm. Mm. Toyota Corolla Apex. When she's a 10, but she thinks Don't Worry, Be Happy is a Bob Marley song. Toyota Corolla Apex. When she's a 10, but she brakes and accelerates with different feet. Toyota Corolla Apex. When she's a 10, but she pronounces it Library. Library. So what's the point of the Apex? So what's the point here? Why would you buy this when the GR Corolla exists, which offers you a real enthusiast driving experience and a better aesthetic and more speed and cornering and braking and everything is fantastic. The Apex isn't really a great summer car like it's hyped up it will be, but basically the same thing as an influencer sitting in their car bragging about how they've written a song of the summer before turning up their Bluetooth and spewing pop fusion vomit onto every ear canal. Oh, GM and Ford love their limited editions and their Harley Davidson's editions and their, and their Texas editions. Great. But it's a car you almost have to modify to make it more tolerable. It came with special black flow form wheels, which John removed. The originals uh, were also super light, much like the clutch on this thing. And 
I'm, it's a clutch. It's the same clutch as the base. I have to remind you that. Oh, it's a light clutch. Well, so is the base model. Toyota Corolla Apex. When she's a 10, but she likes horses. A lot. Toyota Corolla Apex. When she's a 10, but her favorite RoboCop is the remake. Toyota Corolla Apex. When she's a 10, but she let Tommy Fenstermacher hit with no rubber. Ew. John also removed the resonator, which he replaced with JDM resonators. John tinted his turn signals so you can't see him as well. And it makes this pullover bait at the end of the month for simultaneously overpaid and underfunded small town police departments. You tinted your turn signals. Fine. It's like a clothing store that only sells the socks you lost in the laundry. Laundry Day. When all your unmentionables become mentionable again, yet the old tradition continues. You're missing a sock. You know you put all your socks in there. I know you put all your socks in there. And yet, a sock is gone. And now you're left with an odd-numbered amount of socks like a teenager who threw the crispy ones in the trash so mom doesn't discover he's living a life of sin under her own God-fearing roof. But don't despair. Reunite the pair and come on down to One Sock Warehouse. One Sock Warehouse is the one-stop shop for socks that are single and ready to mingle. Hey, baby. No matter what brand of sock is missing, we have its match. Is it because we have an entire team of agents who surreptitiously break into your home and steal a single sock from your dryer mid-tumble? We'll never tell. We have dress socks, brown socks, mid-calf, over-the-knee, crew socks, captain socks, first mate socks, low-cut, extra low-cut, rob low-cut, no-show, GoPro, snowblow, po-po for show, compression socks, aggression socks, depression socks, those little socks with the individual toes, socks by Fruit of the Loom, but Fruit of the Loom with the cornucopia logo that was obviously there that we've now been gaslit into believing never existed? I know what I saw! Next thing you're gonna tell me Tony the Tiger's nose is blue and not black. Wait, what? You want socks for driving? We've got socks for driving. We've got socks that'll let you go heel-toe, heel-toe, so no one will see you lurching your Toyota Corolla Apex through stalled gears because you dared to drive on something other than fresh tarmac. Don't need socks? Get f***ed! Yes, you do. Everybody needs socks. I don't care if you're Tarzan. This is a good idea for a business and you can't tell me or our investors otherwise. Making money on this should be easier than zipping your fly. I mean, really now, how hard could it be? There's only one goal. Don't get your bipper caught in the zipper. Sure, disaster is only a zipper tooth away, but if you're smart, you'll never have to worry about giving yourself a home circumcision in your dungarees. And if you're smart, you'll have no trouble always having socks that match, because you know you can always come down to one sock warehouse. So when your socks disappear like a redneck whose body they'd never be able to use dental records to identify, come down to one sock warehouse, the store that sells socks. And nothing else, guys, nothing else. Not even gum or phone chargers at the checkout. Not even gift cards, just socks. You got a problem, go stuff one in your mouth. Cause I don't really want to hear it. I've ruined my family with this business, haven't I? And I had to, I had to leave the high paying sales career to take a gamble on socks when the kid was like four years old. I couldn't wait until he was like 16 and any divorce would mean I only had two years of child support. Ugh. Oh, oh, I'm up to my receding hairline and bills. Oh my God. I'm, I'm boned forever. This is my life now. It's a, don't despair, reunite the pair and come on down to one sock warehouse. From a background standpoint, the only thing that's really special here is the transmission. I have a correction here. Uh, the Apex was only made in 2021 and 2022. I said there were a few hundred made. In fact, there were 6,000 made, uh, about 6,000 made every model year. But of those 6,000 every year, only 120 of those were manual. Oh, excuse me. I messed up again. The dealership didn't offer John a Lexus. They offered him a GR86, right? Awesome. 
And they didn't, they didn't offer him $1,000, they offered him $5,000. So $5,000 and a new GR86 for, for him to just sell him this car back. Excellent. You and I would take the GR86 any day. But then again, could John himself put this up on cars and bids and make even more money than a GR86 plus $5,000? Is this thing worth 50 grand now because it just existed and it's a manual and uh, there were only 160 made each year? Is this thing, are, are crazy people willing to pay $50,000 for this just to have something that no one else has? Hmm. None of this is any way a reflection on John, who's a, who's a really cool guy. And I really, really, really wanted to like this car. I wanted to say nice things about it because I'm a Toyota guy. But expectations and reality are mortal enemies. It's not the most offensive thing to wear the Toyota badge. That will go to the Toyota Corolla Cavalier. <laughs> that thing. That rebadged Chevy. This is the worst Corolla. It's Toyota's first real heartbreaker in a long time. Because the body kit doesn't line up. So even the Toyota build quality that we all like to brag about is slipping here. There's a lot of things here that could be good. D a different fueling map for once, give it more power. Maybe put the GR Corolla engine in this. You know, just offer it in this, right? Strap a turbo to this engine, right? Well, the road to greatness is littered with the corpses of products that had potential. When left unrealized, potential is a waste of everyone's time. But maybe if YouTube sticks around in 10 years, who knows? I'll be eating my words as these things will trade like Ferrari Dinos or something like that. Maybe in terms of reselling and flipping... These things really will be the new Truino Apex. Collecting cars is a strange hobby. And someday, maybe I'll understand it. Have a good week. All right, guys, this is crazy. I think I may have just written the song of the summer. Uh, listen to this. It's called Sad Boy Hours. It's available now on Amazon and iTunes and Bandcamp. Not Spotify, because Spotify is very weird, but you don't make any money on Spotify anyway, so forget it. Just go out and get it. It's the song of summer. Yeah. But we're going to keep our chins and our glasses held high. We're going to get bread and buy low and sell high. We're going to get pleased till we can't even smell high and be the knock on the till we don't even smell high. If you want to get into some trouble on the night, Shift, drowning in some whiskey sours Just pick up the phone No such thing as being all alone When it's sad boy hours When 